Um, by the way, in the off chance that anyone from the King Arthur dev team is watching, uh, I know that I was going to be starting my sponsor stream in about 25 minutes at 8 a.m. However, I woke up this morning to a message that an appointment that I've had scheduled for like a month and a half for a plumber to come out and look at my system got bumped up an hour today. So there's a chance that they're going to get here between 9.30 and 10. So I wanted to kind of start early and probably go a little bit later to like make sure all the time is here. Um, so appreciate you guys. Wow, that's loud. Welcome to Night's Tale Summer Update. Patch is looking to shake things up around Avalon. The features is a brand new Frost-based utility class, the Sage Controller Support. Oh, cool. And four different difficulty settings. New skills, gameplay cat changes, and bounces, and bug fixes. Start the game. Okay, let's see. Don't need large fonts yet. That good? That still feels pretty loud. Try it like there. Video subtitles. Yes, let's turn that on. Graphics. Turn everything very high. Ultra! Ultra! Um, okay, FPS limit, no limit. I think we're good. Always show Overwatch areas. Yes, let's do that. Auto end turns. Maybe. We're going to keep that off for now, but maybe. Maybe. New campaign. Classic mode. You can freely save and load progress between missions. Okay. Um, then we have roguelite mode. Your progress is automatically saved. There is no manual saving, so every choice and death is permanent. So this is basically Iron Man. Yeah, let's start with classic. Um, if we're gonna do classic, maybe we should do very hard. What do you guys think? Bikeman went roguelite today and oh boy, did he wipe. Oh yeah? All right, let's do, let's do very hard. Let's try very hard. Nuriel says, go hard, Co. I will, Nuriel. I'll go hard. So we're going to do very hard. Yeah. Wake up, night. You must take up your arms again. That's really loud. This is all very confusing. It is. I know. I know. Focus. Breathe. All become clear soon. You were fighting in the last great battle for Britannia. When King Arthur's adversaries marched against the once and future king, you have committed dreadful acts to fulfill your destiny. Do you remember the earth trembling? Can you recall the gathering of terrible armies? You saw Camelot burn and watched the power of magic tearing apart the world at its seams. You led knights and monsters into a deadly storm of fury and blood. You destroyed the ladies of the sun and the lords of the winter. Kills King Arthur, and with his dying breath, he struck you down. You both died, and yet you both live. You have unleashed something that cannot be stopped. The tide of madness and pain will swallow us all. I have brought you back to end this nightmare, so Richard. I want you to go on a nightly quest. I want you to finish what you have begun. 
Kill King Arthur. Or whatever he has become. After I took his dying vessel to Avalon. Sir Mordred, living and breathing again. But is he truly alive? I wish I could talk to him. But I can't just yet. Serves him right anyway. I've set this dread night on a dark path. And for now, Whoa. I can only watch where it takes him. I've brought back King Arthur's nemesis and wonder if I made the right choice. Mordred did the impossible after all. Almost killed the king who cannot be killed. And that's how the nightmare began. Okay, first, let's turn down the audio a little bit. Okay, there we go. Right. <clears throat> okay, very, very strong start. Definitely dig that. So this is kind of like the free play mode. You can move with Wasid. How did he do the impossible if he almost killed the unkillable king? Well, apparently the unkillable king is back. Wait! Who could... the hell are you? Oh, I'm here you. to teach you some manners, lad. Okay, so we can do strike. And we can do stigma. You are stigma. Right click, right click. Okay. I'm gonna turn that on for now. Auto intern. This is the legendary island of Avalon, far, far beyond the realm of Britannia, surrounded by the endless sea of the other world. Avalon is the realm of the most powerful enchantress who has ever lived. She may have many names, but in Britannia they revered her as the Lady of the Lake. She was born under the cold waves and ascended to reign over this magical island. She is the immortal who spins the fate of mortal kings and queens, the one who speaks the language of the lakes and ancient forests. She rules this land that was once meant to be a haven for fallen heroes, the mirror image of the mightiest kingdom in the mortal world. Phantom says, have you played this before? I played this when it was in very early access. Um, so there was there was only like the first little section and a lot of it wasn't done. So uh, yeah, it's been a long time since I played. <clears throat> this is the release version today. What is this thing? Open the door, whoever you are. Help me, and I will help you. Well, well, well. Sir Kay, King Arthur's Seneschal, in a dungeon rotting away, a hero's reward. An honest and capable man, but a bit dull, like an untended blade. Sir wow. Mordred, the Scourge of Britannia is back. Avalon is not a place for your treacherous kind. What the hell's going on here? Talk, calm down and talk to me. Are you real? Or just a ghost? Tell me, Mordred. Do you remember killing me? Can't say that I do, no. And yet here you are. Speak. Help me escape, traitor. Then we may talk. What is this wretched place? I've already told you. Avalon. The island of the fallen knights. And this is Castle Camelot. This is Camelot? Yes. Not the one that you remember, though. So you and Knight of the Round Table ended up here behind locks? Pitiful. Some of us are still waging a war. I fought and have been betrayed. You are familiar with betrayal, aren't you? Trust was always your weakness, Kay. And what is yours? Your bloodlust? Your savagery? Glare in silence. Yes, I thought so. You think you're strong enough to fight the taint on this island? I'll fight your taint. You promised to help me if I set you free. How about that? I keep my promises. 
I will help you, Mordred. Dot, dot, dot. The powers that rule this land decided to trust you with our fate. I don't know how to feel about that. But soon, you must make your very first decisions. Okay. <clears throat> Mm, is there a way to... Let me need to find an activatable or a highlightable thing. Let's see if there's some way to highlight it. Oh, there's one. Maybe they auto-highlight. Yes. <gasps> Drink a potion! I like the music. Great. That's my arm over there. Finally. I feel more useful now. You think a sword makes you less useless? We must get out of here. Go to the door and let me handle this. Um. Why is, why is the camera continually rotating? There we go, okay. Rascals! I told you that you will pay for this. What the hell is he doing out of his cell? Surprise. Oh my. Prepare to die. Oh, backstab. Cut you to size. Nice. Orientation. Character's orientation is vitally important in combat. Backstabbing always deals extra damage, so pay attention to your hero's orientation before ending your turn. You can rotate your character by right-clicking on them and dragging the mouse, or just click on an empty tile with the left mouse button to face your hero in the desired direction. Ooh. Cool. Okay. You cleave or just strike. Ranged weapon. This is the warden's room. Prepare for battle. I am prepared. Sir Kay, you are really persistent, but I can't let you walk free. You don't have much choice in the matter now, warden. Is this game out now? Yeah, check, there's a button at the very top of my profile and a link in the King Arthur command. Go go check it out, man. Oh, show. All right, let's go this way first. Got some blocks good. Take you out. I think we're already facing that way, so that's good. Oh, can I do this on him? Nice. You finish him. And let's start sneaking him to the back. Maybe for some backstabs. Let's put you here to fully expose that guy's back. I do love a fully exposed rear. Oh, even moving a little bit in front of them triggers an AOO. Good to know. Okay, let's reserve that AP. Not a backstab. We can backstab with him. Beautiful. Now we should find the bastard. Queen in the North with the 13 months. Co-rave, 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 co-rave. I like it. Well said. Thank you very much for your support. 
go rape and bongos. Something to line our pockets. Oath stone. 69 gold. Nice. Plus one. Nice. Careful. It's quite a crowd. Hey, you know very well that diplomacy was never my strong suit. Predictable battle. Exploring the area before battle rewards you with information. The more deployment areas you discover, the more tactical options you will have when combat begins. You can select any area you discovered for deployment. Hey, click kid. Thanks for your 43, buddy. Difference between green and orange HP. Um, I believe that the eight, the green is vitality. Taking vitality damage can lead to persistent injuries and eventual death. Vitality does not regenerate after missions. Hit points, damage you can take before taking vitality damage. So hit points are kind of your armor, like the outside of you, and then vitality is like once they've breached your armor. There's also this, which is armor, and armor is subtracted from any hit damage and only the, only the difference is suffered. Depending on the damage of skill, armor breaking the target will lose some armor. So there's armor, hit points, and vitality. There you go. You gotta admit that's a, a little confusing, but we'll make it work. I like the premise, I'm just not sure I like the words for them. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, maybe I should have gone after him there. Wait, can I move him? How do I do this? Select your heroes one by one, then place them inside the green area with the right mouse button. Uh -huh. Cool. End turn. Is there a hot pita end turn? Face is fast forward enemy turn. There's no hot key to end turn. Okay. I feel like they should add that. Reserve is enter. Do okay, let's do uh, fast forward as reserve V. Let's do fast forward as V. Reserve is space. That's reserve. Ah, cool. Okay, forgotten Ash. Thanks for the countless hours of entertainment with the one month. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. Don't end your turn. Move the other character as well. No, I think. Your Highness, none can stand in my way. Oh, so if all heroes will reserve the remaining AP if I end turn. Okay, so we go all at once. Cool. Cool. I probably missed a tutorial on that earlier. Right. So we want to reserve you, and then that goes to him because we didn't end the turn. We only reserve. We're good. Perish. <laughs> And then if I reserve everyone, it ends the turn. Great, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> oh, out of AP? How much does this take? Four, okay. Ow. Command. I want him to face this way. 
Uh, how do I make him face him? I guess it doesn't really matter. I remember it said you could click. Oh, oh, we can left click and drag, right? Right click and drag. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Ready to fight. I just want to face this guy so he doesn't get some kind of weird backstab dealy. Okay. Ow. All right, go over here. Punch him in the face. You're out of AP. That's fine. Uh, you to here. Oh, green must be where they can still attack. Okay. Ow. Great. Perfect. What master do these soldiers serve anyway? That would be Sir Tewelin. Lead me to him. I want to explain him that this is my castle now. Oh my. Do you have an option to set the difficulty? We did at the beginning. There's four different difficulty levels, and there's a roguelite mode, which is basically Iron Man. So, lots of ways to set your experience. So, you are back as well, traitor. Ooh. You probably don't remember me. So I'm really digging the voice acting so far. I wish I knew who you are. I am just a walking corpse cheated out of his death. And I will make everyone suffer for this injustice. And do you have a name? He is... He was Sir Tuellen, A once noble warrior with two sons. Both knights. What are you doing in Camelot? I fell in battle like we all did. But instead of gaining new life in legendary Avalon, I've returned as a lost one. Hmm. Is, co is this still early access? No, no. We're actually doing a sponsored stream today to celebrate the release of the game. Uh, if you look in the chat right now in the King Arthur command, there's a link you can click that'll take you to all the information on the final game. But the game is now officially 1.0. It is out. And hopefully it is very good and good so far. But this is, I've already done this part in the early access, so I'm waiting to see how it kind of gets as a larger product. I might be just as lost as you are. What are you even talking about? Let me rephrase it, traitor. Camelot is a sacred place. Hey, reserved for the once and future king. That is the law. But I spit on the laws of the Lady of the Lake. You think it's wise to infuriate the Lady of this land? I'm not afraid of her. Lost ones can't perish. This is our curse and Zep blessing. Zepic says it's weird that it still says early access on Steam, but it's launch day. Honestly, I would I would almost guarantee you that's because of Steam. Um, they tend not to update things until like early afternoon. So I, I almost promise you that, that that request has already been put in and that Steam just hasn't done it yet. Um, so there's that. Yeah. That happens very frequently. Oh, here we go. Public launch is in five hours. Well, that would explain that. There you go. So it publicly launches in five hours or early afternoon, like we were saying. Okay, there you go. Ouch. Out of curiosity, are your sons such ugly monstrosities like you? Ooh. Um, is King Arthur here with you, Walking Corpse? He is not. The unholy storm wrecked the ship that brought the dying king to Avalon. He can't be dead, otherwise I wouldn't be here. And the raging tempest, something was waiting for the ship. No, mean, right? And then the darkness took the king and all of us in its embrace. Dot, dot, dot. Arthur is beyond the Bridge of Sorrows, dwelling on the accursed land of Midnight. Spare me the poetic rubbish. Tell me where he is, and I'll let you live. Otherwise, whatever you call this existence, I can't read well. I don't have my reading glasses. Whatever you do, you need more than a blade to break my curse. Hmm. We'll see. Worst case is that you'll keep on lamenting after I take your head. Hey, man, P, what's up, buddy? Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. So I kind of want to take him out. Oh. Oh my. Uh, we got to put this guy up here. Too late to run. Start working on him. You, we need to start getting it against this guy here. I also really want to attack this guy first. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. I've suffered a light wound. It's just a light wound. Oh. Say that. One down. I am hit. That will leave a mark. Am I supposed to be able to do this without losing vitality? I don't know, man. Potion time. Oh yeah, good call. We do have a potion. Heals for 50% and removes damage over time. Is that vitality or hit points? This is where I die again. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pop this. Maybe we should wait one more time just in case it's vitality. It does say HP. Oh it does, HP, 50% HP. Okay. Break that. Okay. Start working Your on this guy. Is mine. Great. Now start running back. Okay. Um after you. Two more armors down. Preserve him. I'd love to get him behind, but I think we Well, would it be worth it? It'd probably be worth it for the backstabs. Let's do it. Hopefully he's not gonna turn around and start attacking Sir Kay. I'm still breathing. Like that. Let um, me cut you to okay. size. Great, okay. <clears throat> Another notch on my blade. The battle is over, and you must make a choice, Mordred. This is merely the first in a chain of similar decisions that will eventually determine what kind of leader you will be. Tell me, what will happen to Camelot? I have decided this is my throne room now, and with my band of selected knights, I will fulfill my destiny. For I have been chosen by the Lady of the Lake as a protector of Camelot. I will not take this throne, but I'll make my round table and take on this quest. Hi, Lord Baker. I have no idea how that emote has survived. <laughs> Love it. Ooh. Okay. I am Mordred, and I was reborn on the mystical island of Avalon, the resting place of the fallen knights. A vision told me my purpose, to find and destroy King Arthur. I woke up in a ruined castle, a reflection of the real Camelot. This is my castle now. I am still trying to understand the nature of the powers that brought me here, but meanwhile, I have a new realm to build and an old enemy to kill. We got a rune of venom, a wrathful sigil, a venomous lucky charm, a skin gouger parchment, and a healing potion. I think we use that though. Or maybe oh, that's the mission. That's just the reward. So we got another one. Great. Okay, we got no injuries. That's good. But we did lose vitality. Well, your HP restores automatically between missions. Vitality can only be healed back in Camelot at the Hospice. Okay, weird name for that. Be careful in the battles. If your hero runs out of vitality, they will die for sure. Second, second time. Um, as an exception, this time, this time everyone who lost vitality will be healed back fully, but you should keep this in mind for the future. Yay!